Hello and welcome again to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Drek, and today we're talking about Overwatch. Now, I was super duper into Overwatch when it dropped, and I've kept up with it a little bit. Now, you get Jim Drek right now because the news don't stop, and neither do we, so I haven't even had time to shower yet, and i got to bring you this news. But it's coming to us live from BlizzCon, and I'm super duper stoked to talk about this. So McCree was my second favorite uh, champion to play. Uh, champion character, etc., or what have you, but I mean, like, who doesn't want to be a spur wearing gunslinging cowboy? So, um, let's launch right into it. First off, I do just want to say that I had a video planned for today about some super slick new magazines shaking up uh, Nerf, sort of just in general, particularly in IC play, but this takes precedence. So, uh, this is McCree's pistol. Now, in the game, McCree has a sweet six shooter, he knows how to get down, but uh, this is a single shot pistol. We can uh, kind of sort of see that it doesn't have a lot of room to accommodate one of those ultra cool channels uh, that hold extra rounds. Uh, the safety, interestingly enough, is mounted up here. Um, and then we've got the trigger here. Uh, there have been official press release photos of this, but there hasn't been any official media coverage. So luckily, I have a really good buddy. He is a proud member of the Southeast Nerf Club, and he went all the way out to uh, show off his Overwatch stuff at BlizzCon, and in the process, he was willing to get us an intern, uh, or me an intern, us uh, some exclusive video, video, video footage. And I have two videos, so I've got one from like the Hasbro rep, and then I have one from my buddy Dakota himself, and he gives us a, a very honest kind of view at it. So this is the uh, the default spiel here from our Hasbro rep, and you should be able to hear it as well. Uh, we've got the Nerf t-shirt. I actually know this guy, believe it or not. Uh, but... He doesn't want to drop the prototype. I love it. All right, so uh, we've even got the shout out of like, what should we do with the Sweet Six Shooter? Well, you should <laughs> spin it out. But uh, anyway, so this teaches us a lot about the blaster. It tells us what Hasbro is legally allowed to tell us about these prototypes. There's a lot to unpack here. So first off, uh, the package that this is delivering is super duper like gimmick intensive. Uh, it's got the gimmick in the dropout cylinder, but it doesn't give us six shots. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I would be for a real rival revolver. I'm hoping against hope that because of the way the barrel drops almost Maverick style out of this thing, we might be able to drill new barrels into it and create maybe not a six shooter, but a three shooter, possibly maybe even four, where we could rotate through. Now, that requires indexing and all sorts of crazy stuff, but it's going to be cool. Uh, anyway, um, this is going to ship with a badge. There's going to be a die cast uh, McCree badge, just like the one that he's got in the game. That's going to add a little bit to the price. It's got the spinning uh, spur in the back, which is really cool for like ripping it against your clothes and like doing some of those super cool pistol tricks. But that's not a feature that increases performance. And as a single shooter, you would want it to hit harder. But everybody that I've talked to who's at BlizzCon, including Dakota himself, says that it shoots a little bit soft. So uh, it's a single shooter that's not doing anything crazy. But here's Dakota. And... Dakota's uh, full size, so you can really see how it indexes there. When you pull forward, that's how it works. You can see that that, uh, that little hammer drop is kind of like, is what it is. Um, and then he kind of goes through and talks about how you can multi-load rounds into this, which we've always been able to do. You can load about as many as it'll hold. And he shows you that with three in there, they just kind of droop out. So, talking about the safety, which no one will ever touch if it's all the way up there. All right, so super duper thanks, Dakota. Um, my question for you guys is, this is going to be coming out summer of 2019, which means that we might see some leaks a little bit before then, uh, as evidenced by clearly there are some prototypes at Blizzard um, 
for BlizzCon. Uh, I don't know. There's always like logistics questions of like who owns the prototypes. And in this case, I imagine it's split probably between uh, Nerf and um, Blizzard. And that means that there will be more leaks and we will get more access to these things. And we might even get some inside pictures before they fully, fully drop. But uh, this is probably going to be the second most expensive, which is weird because it's not the most exciting. I imagine that Diva's pistol is going to be not only the most popular, because cosplayers are going to love it, that Zentai Diva suit is already so cheap, but we'll be doing a dedicated video on the Diva Blaster and a dedicated video on the Reaper Blaster, and I'm going to launch them all uh, at once tonight, uh, if at all possible, but I wanted to talk about the McCree pistol first, because it's the most unique one, and that'll be evident later, but it's also like a personal favorite like I think that it's going to be cooler in a lot of ways after a sweet paint job like all of these are just going to be really really great for cosplay but seems like a miss that it's not a revolver my biggest question is comment down in the comment section below let me know what you would pay from a Cree single shot revolver and then uh, most importantly don't forget to like this video and share it with your buddies because uh, this is in my opinion the most comprehensive like collection of stats on the McCree Blaster so far. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, much love. Nerf on Drek out.